Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and this is Annie. Annie is my newest uh, creation uh, for my collection. She is the Sashkia full body silicone and she is just absolutely stunning. I did a few things uh, different with her though. I added more hair. Um, it just looked better on her. It looked like it was a little bit baby fine because you know I painted the hair. So I added a lot more small little curls through it and a little bit more to the front, a little bit more shadowing. So I'll show you that. And then I did something unique to her mouth. But I can't show you right now because this little girl loves her passy. I did open up the mouth on her and uh, so she could take pass right. But she loves her passy and she loves her bunny. And as you guys see, look at the snow out there here in Minnesota here. We got a ton of snow. We had a snowstorm um, and also uh, rain. So it's pretty bad out there. You know, we got an advisory not to go out in this type of weather right now because the roads are slick. So anybody that bought a baby through me, um, I put some babies up yesterday. I will do my best to try to get out tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. I will try to get out tomorrow to do that. If not Thursday, then uh, just because due to the weather and you can just see it's, it's a storm out there. So um, it was so weird because we just like had the nicest weather and then we're going to get nicer weather coming up. But yeah, we got snow and rain and sleet and it's just really bad out. But anyways, real quick, before we go over that, I'm just going to show you what's left for the babies that I um, have up for sale. And I keep all the babies, um, you know, when I um, am selling them, um, you know, any baby that I'm selling, whether it goes, because I do it on Facebook market and on um, my channel here and on a couple other sites. So I keep them in the back room in a box like this closed up. So they're good. So once they're you know, done and ready for sell, whether it's a, you know, baby that I painted to sell or one out of my collection, I then put it, you know, inside the box here and shut it up so that they stay nice before you guys buy it. So I got my full body silicone here that I painted. Um, again, this one is out of my collection. It's a little girl. She's got the brown eyes. Now, if you want blue, I can give you the blue. Um, she has the brown. I did have blue eyes in her, but they were the really expensive eyes. I took them out and just put the brown since I'm letting it go so cheap. But if you want a blue pair of eyes, I can put blue in, but she just looks really cute with the brown. She's got the freckles, the stork bite, her rosy cheeks. She's got her ears pierced. Uh, she also, I forgot to show you guys that yesterday. She has the little mole. I showed you that, but I forgot to show you guys yesterday. She also has a birthmark on the back of her leg. I did a birthmark on her and I love that. I'm a sucker for birthmarks and I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know about that. And she's got great mottling, veining, blushing. Her nail beds and tips are done really well. Um, just, she's very, very cute. There's her little toes and the bottom of her feet. And I just want to show you, she's very floppy too. She's a very floppy, squishy baby. 20 EcoFlex Marshmallow Blend and adorable. Yeah, she's a little baldy. So um, I'll be sending her home in something cute. You know, I'll have a bow on her head and everything. So there's her. She is, hold her up real quick, $300 shipped in the U.S. only. These babies, um, are, prices are for U.S. only. If somebody maybe out of Canada wanted one, um, they would have to uh, get a hold of me and they'd have to pay the extra shipping and they would have to pay the uh, fees. So, but that's the prices in the United States. The other one is my other full body silicone. This is a baby boy and he is just factory painted. Okay, I haven't got around to painting him, but he is the most phenomenal silicone ever. It's like they double marshmallowed him. I don't know, but he's just absolutely phenomenal and I didn't even want to get rid of him, but like I said, I have to downsize. Um, I want to downsize because, you know, I've downsized quite a bit, but I've added in a few more, just a few. But um, financially, I sure could use it too. So that's why I'm letting him go. But he is just, I, I can't even describe his silicone. I mean, it is the most softest, squishiest silicone ever. I don't own any like him at all. This was the only one. And I did open his mouth so you can give him pacifiers. It's very deep. And nice to be able to take nooks. But he is just phenomenal. And just, fact, you know, the factory paint. So um, I just powder him and stuff like that. If you would want him painted, it would be an additional, um, I believe I put up there 250 for an additional paint job on him. It's still bald. Okay, but I could give him a paint job for 250 more. So it would be a total of 450 total um, plus the shipping then. It would be um, 450 so 475 total if you wanted him painted. You'd have to let me know. But yeah, here he is. He's a great size. The other one is 18 inches, and I would have put it up on the screen, uh, 18 inches and like six plus pounds. This one here is seven pounds, over seven, like 7.6, I can't remember, and 
Um, this one is 19 inches long. But like I said, this one here literally can bend in half. Don't worry, I'm not ruining him. He is perfectly fine. All my babies are boo-boo free. The ones that I'm selling, I don't have any really with boo-boos um, in my collection. But anyways, this is him here. He is anatomically correct. So a little boy, he is 200 shipped in the United States because he is um, unpainted. But he does have a paint job, you guys. He does have paint on him. It's just a factory paint. All right. And then the last one is the vinyl. And that one is a COA baby. And that one is um, the Lewis. So the real born Lewis asleep. And here's the COA. This one, um, when I got it, obviously it's based off a boy because the name is Lewis. So this baby is based off a boy. When I got it, um, she had it on the site as a girl. It was off of um, uh, reborns.com and it was, she had it as a girl. So I just kept it as a girl. But now looking at it, it is totally all boy. I mean, it's based off a boy. But here it is here. Look at the great veining on it, the blushing. It's got rooted lashes and the eyebrows. And then, of course, the great paint job. It's very nice, matted, very nice. Beautiful little feet, the tipped toes. And then, the, see the veining in there? Isn't that phenomenal? And I'll try to show you a hand here. It's so hard because it's fisted. But let's see if I can show you a hand here. See? Beautiful. And also, nice floppy baby. And this baby is, um, I believe, what well, says in the paper here? This baby is 4 pounds, 12.9 ounces, so almost 5 pounds and 18 inches long. So, yeah, but it was just, like, just such a floppy baby. I love how she weighted this one. It's very good. I put a magnet in the mouth, so I could take a magnified pacifier, and I will send that along. And you could just tell me if you want a boy or a girl with this one. And this one is also 200 in the United States. All right, I just wanted to show those to you guys because I the video I did... Um, go in and kind of crop out the ones that were sold and um, let you guys know that. But I thought I would just say it in this video here too, in case somebody didn't watch that video and then they see this one and realize I have babies up for sale. So yeah, just let me know on those. And that's that. All right, we're going to get onto our reading and then we're going to get Annie over to the table and I'm going to show you um, what she's going to. We're going to get her in something warmer, obviously, because we got a winter storm out there. So she needs to be a little bit warmer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you looking at? <laughs> All right, so today is the 26th. I missed a couple of you guys. I'm sorry about that. So we'll go to the 26th. And this one's called The Poison of Anger. A fool gives full vent to his anger. Proverbs 29, 11. And I knew it was going to be a Proverbs because that is the wisdom chapter. And it is so great. And I remember reading that. A fool gives full vent to his anger. And this is a good one for me, you guys, because that's one thing I have. I live in a glass house. I sin. I, you know, commit sins and I fall short of God daily. I make mistakes. One big thing with me, though, is anger. Anger gets the best of me. It really does. And I'm trying to work on that. I remember growing up, my mom always said, you should have been a lawyer because you're a great fighter. And my husband always says, I'm a bulldog. He says, boy, you have a fight in you. So anger, we're supposed to be slow to anger, slow to speak. And that doesn't always happen as a human. But um, this will be a great one for me, and I hope it can help somebody else. Anger is one sin that everyone is capable of committing. The tiny baby has a tantrum and spits up her dinner. The little boy has a tantrum and ruins the family gathering. The wife loses her temper and wounds her child's heart. Well, hope I didn't do that with my child. The husband gets angry and terrifies his family. How um, Homes can be destroyed by the swirling tornadoes of anger. Business relation, relations can be shattered by fits of violence, temp, violent temper. Friendships can be broken by anger. Anger cause, causes murder, assaults, and conflict. Anger brings out the animal nature of human beings. Like I said, he calls me a bulldog. It hinders our Christian testimony and causes people to lose the joy of living. Too many of us excuse our anger by blaming our natural disposition, but anger is a sin. But anger is a sin, and it is. And so many times I always say, you know, I I don't put the blame on anybody else. I just know that it's just one that I have that in me. I guess it's just that fight in me. I mean, I am a Sagittarius, so and I'm the fire sign, so I do have that in me. But again, we're not going to blame it on that. I fall short of God, and I commit sins, and I have that anger in me. But it is a sin. The first step is finding victory over anger is to want to get rid of it. Boy, do I ever. Next comes confession. And I do confess. 
Then comes a yielding of God. His spirit can tame your tongue and your passion when you surrender your heart to Jesus. He who claims the uh, turbulent, tur turbulent sea of Galilee can calm the temperate sea of, a of your anger with his love. And I noticed that since I've been reading more and spending more time with God, I do notice that the anger then subsides. But I also notice when I am reading, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he puts that anger in me, puts things in my path to make me mad. And so I've been asking God to really help me with that. And I'm sure, like it says here, it, it's anger is one of one sin that everyone is capable of committing. Everybody. I'm sure a lot of us get angry. We live in a hustle and bustle world. Uh, things just, you know, really are hard. And so we do get angry. But yeah, I want to try to work on that and pray about that. But this was a great one. Uh, the poison of anger. Then the wisdom for today is help us to recognize our anger for that for the sin that it is. Father, create in us in its place gentle and quiet spirits that are far more pleasing in your sight. Philippians 4, 5. And boy, that's what I want. I want to have a, you know, um, create in me a gentle and quiet spirit um, that's more pleasing to God, obviously, than the anger. Because, I mean, then um, out comes the sailor words. <laughs> and, yeah, so, um, but, yeah, it's just, you know, part of life. We're human. We got to understand that in God. That's why he sent his son to die so that we could be forgiven of our sins. But we really need to try to work at that, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. And then we want to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, honor, obey, and live by it. Does no good if we just pick it up. Does no good if we just read it. We need to follow all 66 books. Every word in here, what we need to follow. You know, and I'm not putting this on anybody, but I'm just saying myself. I have picked out things that I just love and, and we try to live by that. We need to live by the whole Bible. That's important. And I am caught up with my reading. I'm actually ahead. I've already got my reading done for today. Um, I encourage all of you guys to pick up your Bible. If you don't have one, get one. You can get them as cheap as the dollar store, uh, but get a Bible and read it. And the NLT version is the easiest to understand. It's the New Living Translation, uh, easiest to understand. So get yourself a Bible and start reading. Blow the dust off one that you have already at home that's collecting dust and blow it off. And I just encourage you to try to read a chapter a day. Um, start with Proverbs. Proverbs is the best way to start because there's 31 matches for all the days of the month. If there's 31, you read all 31. You start over if there's only 28, like in February. This one, though, we had leap years, so we had 29. But 28, you'd read 28 and you'd start over again. So it's the wisdom and it gives you great wisdom every day on, you know, how to live. So start with a Proverbs a day, the, you know, the whole chapter a day. It's what? three to five minutes of reading. That's it. If we can't give that to God, then there's something wrong, you guys. But I encourage you to do that. Um, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm doing my reading, my one-year challenge of that. If you want to do it with me, start, you know, get the Bible app on your phone, start listening to it while I'm painting babies. And I do have one coming up, you guys. I do have one coming up, you guys, the Maddie Full Body Silicone. I'm excited for you guys to see that one. It is a little girl. So that one's coming up. But you know, just while you're doing something, while you're doing dishes, cleaning house, whatever, you know, you got earbuds, if you don't, headphones or just your phone, set it down, put it on, you know, and listen to the word of God. Let it be pumped into your heart. And then if you're done with the reading for the day, listen to Christian music. All those things will help you to live a better life. It will. It'll help you to walk better with God. Definitely. I notice that when I am walking closer and I am praying to God daily and talking to him and I do believe I talked to him today, but not full Fully, just I had asked him for something and we can't just ask. We got to pray, you know, each day and thank you for giving us another day. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another day because we're never promised a tomorrow. So live for today and enjoy today and live it for God. You know, definitely live it for God. But you will feel better when you are. All right, Annie. She's like, I'm done now. I'm done with this. Thank God you were soothed with that passy because mommy did a lot of talking. So we're going to get over to the table with little Annie here. Not little, she's big. Yeah, she's big. And then I'm going to show you the difference in the hair, the before and after, and then um, what I did with her little mouth. It's really cute. We'll be right back. Let's go over to the changing table. All right, you guys. So we're back here at the changing table. Annie's just staring at you guys. Either that or the ring light. She's looking at something. And mommy's going to have to take your pacifier because I need to show them your mouth. Okay, are you going to be happy? So let me show you quick what she's going to go into today. So like I said, I want to put her in something a little longer for her legs to keep her warm because of all that snowstorm we got going out there, that cold weather and the snow. I'm going to put her in this, cookies and milk. Yeah, say, I like cookies and milk. Yes, I do say, well, I really like milk because I'm a baby. 
but I like those baby cookies too. So we're going to put her in this. I love this. I got this in a box opening when I opened up the one from In Love With Reborns Baby I got from Stephanie. She had this in there and I love it. So it's got the milk, um, the bottles of milk with the straws in it and the straws blue and white striped in the milk, of course, is white in those glass bottles they used to do, which I love kind of the old look. And then the cookies and then there's some bites taken out of them. The cookies are the color of like uh, oatmeal or, or tan color with the little black dots in it for the chocolate chips. And then it's got um, just all pink around. It's pink. It snaps in the crotch. It's footless. So we're going to put socks on her. So she's going to wear that. And then we're going to put her in a bow because I love bows on my girls. So she's going to wear the pink bow and the pink freely socks. I just think that would be cute. The ruffled socks there. All right. We need to take your bunny and we need your passy. Let's hope you don't get mad. Yeah, we need your passy because we need to show them what we did. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to take off her headband so I can show you. And then I'm going to put the other picture up to the side of it. All right. Also, she has rooted lashes. I don't know if I told you guys that. She has rooted lashes, too. Little red rooted lashes there. If you can see them, I hope you can. Um, I'll just kind of tilt it to the side a little bit. But she's got rooted red lashes, too. But here we go. Here's the hair. Let me put up the picture to the other side, what it looked like before. So I got more shadowing in there, more curls in there. And I just love it. She definitely looks like a little Annie, doesn't she, with that curly hair? It's just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. And there's the back of the extras I added to the back of it. And I'll show you the back, too. I'm going to hold it like this and show you the back on the side there. I'll move it over here so you can see it. So that's what it looked like. But look at all those beautiful curls and then more shadowing through it. And I just love the way it turned out. She's also got uh, painted eyebrows. So that's painted hair, painted eyebrows. And I'm getting real good at the curl hair. I'm going to try some straight hair. But, yeah, it's or like a wave here, but just cute. And we're going to pierce little Annie's ears. So next time you see her, she'll have the ears pierced. Now her mouth, I want to show you her. Whoops. I want to show you the mouth. Because her mouth is open, I love seeing some babies where they have the little bubbles. Look at how I did that. I gave her that little bubble look at the bottom of her lip. You see that? It looks like, you know, she's drooling and all that. And she's got the little water. Because she's got her mouth open and her little tongue up, babies always drool and everything. But see how she's got the look of, like, bubbles down in there? And it's just the clear silicone, but it gives the look and appearance of the wetness down there, the drool, and the bubbles. Isn't that cute? I love it. She's so cute and so adorable. Look at those freckles and blue eyes adorable yeah say hi everyone and then as you see let me show you i did open up the back so just the top of the mouth is where i open so that the passies can go in but it stays close so you can't see it whoops and she's got the gum line she's got the gum line down here but like i said she's got the bubbles isn't that sweet and i love the lip color i did a nice lip color on her there's her ears with the wetness in it and all that she's adorable yes she is all right annie you're gonna look at mommy while i change you hi hi sweet girl Let's get you changed up quickly so we can get off here, okay? Because we kind of ran that video a little bit longer than we should have. Yeah. I had the socks on her because before she just had those um, those barefoot sandals. And I thought, well, we've got to get socks on her at least because it's cold. So, yeah, we're going to take this off and we're going to change you, Annie. Mommy wanted to get a onesie on you and I keep forgetting to do the onesie. Yeah, I keep forgetting to get a onesie on you. So, we're going to put a onesie on her today and... Uh, yeah, because I like my babies in onesies. Yes, I do. Oh, we need to unbutton. Can you turn to the side? Can Mommy unbutton this? Yeah, let me unbutton. She's being a good girl without her nook, but she is definitely a nook baby. She likes that nook, but I like to see that cute little mouth of yours. And isn't that hair painting phenomenal, you guys? Doesn't that look realistic? It does. It really does. I, mean, I love painted hair, especially on a silicone uh, learning, because you don't have to... Um, uh, you don't have to, um, you know, worry about it coming out because silicone, you can't glue it in like you can vinyl. So yeah, it's, I just love when you, I can do a painted hair and I'm working on that because I want to do more painted hairs uh, for cell babies. So yeah, we got a onesie here for her. She wears zero to three month to three month clothing. So this one here is a three month, uh, I think it is. Yeah, this is a three, I think th three to six. So we're going to put this on her. But yeah, she wears, you know, easy to find clothes for her. And um, the Sashki has always been my favorite sculpt. I own the um, real one. And I love this full body silicone. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Because it is my favorite all time baby. I just love that famous finger, that famous mouth with that tongue and all that. And yeah, it's a very loved baby. Yes, it is. You're a very loved baby. Make sure you're still in frame there. This is just slightly a little bit big on her, but I'm not too worried about it because it is just her onesie. And onesies are always just slightly a little bit big. And we're going to put a little wafer in her 
too, to have that baby smell. Yeah. So that's a little bit big. I probably could have done just a, a newborn size onesie on her. Or this is a three to six. I could have done the zero to three is what I mean. So, yeah. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great this Tuesday. How's your weather where you are? Man, I couldn't believe when we got this. Because first off, Minnesota should have weather like this. March is always our snowiest month. It really is. But um, it was just so unusual this year. We didn't have a lot of snow. Like, we should have mounds of snow right now all up around. And we just didn't get a lot this year. We just didn't. So it was unusual, um, even for Christmas, not to have snow. I don't remember ever not having snow in Minnesota at Christmas time. But yeah, we've had weird weather here, warm weather. I'm not complaining at all. But now we're getting some of that cold, and then it's going to warm back up again. And I think that's probably it, but you never know. Uh, Minnesota's bipolar, and I'm hearing a lot of states are bipolar. Just wait one second, the weather will change. Yeah. So just give it a minute, and it'll change. Right, Annie? Say, Yeah. Say, Minnesota's got way too much cold. We have more cold than we have any warm. But this year, like I said, was just phenomenal. Part of last year and this year for our winter, it wasn't that bad at all. So I am really not complaining. Just can't really go out in this weather. So I will get any baby shipped out, you know, as soon as I possibly can um, once the roads are cleared out and the snow stops because it's still coming down. You guys, it is still coming down. <laughs> So, yeah, we have to just wait. And then, like I said, we're getting the sleet and the rain with it, too. So that's not a good mixture when the weather drops like that because everything is so slippery out. She looks cute in this. We'll fix it once it's all the way on her. I love the snaps on this, too. It, that thing, I think, had the same type of snap. Oh, no, that had the regular ones. I love they're like a plastic snap, and I love that. I love that with um, different outfits like that when the snaps are just nicer like that than the original snaps. I love this one with the plastic ones. Yeah, I do, Annie. Do you? Yeah. See, so we need to get you a pink passy now because you got all pink. This should have been for Wednesdays we wear pink, and that's tomorrow. Yeah, say so we changed you a day early into pink. Yeah, we changed you a day early. I suppose everybody doesn't care, though, right, because you'll have this on for Wednesdays. Yeah, you will. So the neckline's a little bit big on it, on her, but that is okay. I'm not worried about that. It'll be fine. We can maybe just kind of pull it back. But for now, we'll just uh, make it just go back like this. But look at how cute she is in this milk and cookies. Yeah, she looks adorable. Let's get your little headband on. Yeah, and also what I liked about it with the headband, um, you know, her headbands is you could see her hair more. You couldn't see it when I put the headbands on as far as up front. You couldn't see it. And so I was pulling it up more, but now I can have it more up to the top of her head. And then uh, look at her. And then she can have, um, you know, the hair showing through like that. But, oh, my gosh, she's adorable. So let's turn you to the camera so everybody can look at you and you can look at the camera. Yeah, we want you to look at the camera. Are you looking? Are you looking over there? I don't know what you're looking at, but let's hope you're somewhat looking at the camera. Yeah, let's hope you're somewhat looking at the camera. Just get you turned enough where you can look that way. There we go. Look at how pretty she is, you guys. Such a pretty girl. We'll give her back her lovey, her bunny here that she picked out. Yeah, and then her bubble mouth. She's got the drool. She's going, that's what she's doing. There's her little passy. We'll give it to her after we get off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video with Annie and got to see the new and improved uh, Annie adding more hair. I just think she's absolutely adorable with the um, more painted hair, more curls like that. I just think it's great. And now I don't have to worry. It's all sealed. I don't have to worry about it. And it's silicone paint, uh, but I don't have to worry now about um, her losing hair. You know, she's always going to have the hair. I won't have to worry about it coming out. Even though I root pretty deep on my babies, I'm just saying we always lose hair. We lose hair in our own head. It just doesn't grow back on the silicones, right? It doesn't grow back. So I really like that I did that. And I love that her name is Annie. She told me, like I said, I thought it was, um, what I say, Abby? And she said, no, it's Annie. So I was close. All right, you guys. Annie's going to blow you a kiss. Mwah. And she said, everybody read the Bible. Yes, everybody stop that anger. Stop that, mommy. Stop the anger. All right, you guys. I love you very much. Mwah. But remember, God loves you the most. And he's willing to forgive any sin. Uh, call upon him. Ask for forgiveness. And just get your life right. We all got to work on that. But work on your own life and don't worry about everybody else's. Let's not judge everybody else's life because we all live in glass houses. So we shouldn't be throwing those stones. Yep. All right, you guys, I love you. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.